Please turn on your camera if you are nervous about getting a bad professor. Please turn on your camera if you sought help for academics. Please turn on your camera if FSU helped you grow. I came into college thinking I knew who I was going to be. I had everything planned out from purposely going in as an undeclared major in order to relieve the pressure of making life decisions so early to knowing exactly what classes I would take and having a clear image of who I expected myself to be at the end of my college career. Life happened and I went through seasons of depression, seasons of personal discovery and periods of growth. Through all the stages of my journey, I can say that I was able to find a resource to go to if I wanted to or needed it. I got involved in various student organizations with the help of student leaders and the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership Development. I worked in different places on campus that were very accommodating to my everyday schedule, one of which was the Chief of Staff and General Counsel Office, where I found a lifelong mentor. I even visited the counseling center where I needed to. Here I am now, a senior, and I am a completely different person than I envisioned. My interests changed from the ways I got involved to the classes I was taking. And I'm glad that the FSU community was able to foster an environment that helped me grow into the person I am today. Please turn on your camera if you didn't know if you chose the right major. Please turn on your camera if you have changed your major. Please turn on your camera if you have stepped out of your comfort zone. In high school, I was not as involved as much as I wanted to be. I was a freshman mentor during my junior year, which was the year that the program had began, and in my senior year as well. It was a summer program, but I did not participate in any clubs during the academic year. I was a very shy person, unless I was with my friends. I did not take the opportunity to stay after school and look for clubs to join. In high school, I took acting classes as an elective, and I was really scared to take acting classes because that's where we did improv in front of your classmates, read scripts, and I didn't believe I could do it. But it taught me to be a lot more confident in myself. My acting teacher believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. It didn't take until my freshman year of college for me to step out of my comfort zone fully. I took the courage to reach out and talk to my future classmates during Black and Gold Beginnings, I did a lip sync battle with my new friends. The old me would have never done that in a million years. Then one of my friends convinced me to join a student organization, which is called Student Union Activity Boards, also known as SUAB. SUAB is an organization that plans many on-campus events and off-campus trips as well. You have to interact with a lot of people during those events and trips. When I first joined, I was just a general board member. And then I started running for a policy coordinator that spring semester of my freshman year. So in my sophomore year, I was policy coordinator where I handle all of SUAB's um, social media handles and advertise for our events and trips. This upcoming fall will be my second year as policy coordinator. Ever since I came to college and joined SUAB, I have made a lot more friends than I did in high school, and I interacted with a lot more people. I would not be where I am today if I haven't stepped out of my comfort zone. Please turn on your camera if your friend group has changed since freshman year.
Please turn on your camera if a family member of yours has been diagnosed with a serious illness. Over winter break of my sophomore year here at Framingham State University, my dad was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. It was completely out of nowhere, it threw my whole family into shock, and everything started immediately changing in my life. All of a sudden, I had this balancing act of checking in on my family, keeping up with my course load, and finding time to make sure I was okay. It was one of the most challenging things that I've ever been through, and am still going through. Thankfully, my mom convinced me to visit the counseling center on campus and to start seeing a counselor there. Being able to talk to someone about what was going on was so relieving and it helped me process more of my emotions. And I also couldn't be more grateful to have such amazing friends that I've made here at FSU who have been so kind and understanding with my situation. They've been my greatest support system throughout all of it. Being through this entire journey with my family, I've said numerous times how lucky I was to also have my family there with me. Being at FSU kept me grounded and it gave me things to look forward to. What college has taught me about this whole thing is that I am much stronger and much more capable than I initially realized. Please turn on your camera if you felt homesick. Please turn on your camera if you have gotten lost in a relationship. Sometimes love languages don't match. Sometimes the communication isn't there. It hurts to feel this way when you love someone so much. And I felt this way for a little while. I was with a great guy and we loved each other just so much. And we were so close. Um, but when the basics aren't there, sometimes things just don't work out. And that was how I got lost. I wanted it to work out so badly that the parts of me I didn't like were starting to come through. I felt really frustrated and there was so much longing and it tore us apart even more. Um, I started to question whether or not I wanted to continue being in the relationship, but I didn't want to waste all the time that I had, I had spent with him. We were together for two and a half years, um, but eventually the relationship ended and I felt even more lost for a little while. I hadn't been single as an adult before. Um, we were together in high school and college. And I didn't know what parts of my life I wanted to stay independent or what I wanted to share with someone. Um, and I felt myself just wanting to go back to my ex for comfort and still wanting to talk to him. And I knew that had to stop. But here's the good part. Even though we didn't work out and we have our rough moments, we're still friends now. And we're both in new relationships that just suit us so much better. So. We're really happy now, and remember, even if you feel a little lost, you'll always find yourself with the right person. Please turn on your camera if FSU wasn't your first choice. Please turn on your camera if you found your FSU family. When I first arrived at Framingham, one of my biggest fears was making friends on campus. It was an interesting feeling leaving all of my high school friends behind to come to Framingham for a fresh start in college. When I first arrived at FSU, I went on a trip called the Wet Feet Retreat to hopefully meet some new incoming students. Both on the trip and once I arrived on campus, I made some friends and those friends introduced me to other friends. Although my social group grew rather quickly within the first few weeks of school, it still didn't feel quite right. It almost felt as though I was making friends out of necessity versus seeking out people with actual common interests and personality types. In high school, I was also very involved in my school's theater organization, and I heard that Framingham had its own theater organization known as the Hilltop Players. It wasn't too sure if I wanted to join this group or not, but I figured I would at least go to their weekly meetings. 
to this day, that is one of the best decisions I have ever made at Framingham. I instantly connected with so many people who all shared a love for theater and who took little to no time to get me to see them as people I could trust. Some people from Hilltop are some of my best friends in my life right now, and I don't know what I would do without them. My only advice to you is this. If you're worried about making friends on campus, find an activity you enjoy doing on campus. After all, similar people are bound to have similar interests.